Playoffs? We're talking playoffs? Yes, we are talking playoffs here on Seahawks Today. It is our first playoff picture video of the season. Always a good time when we get to begin these video series. And on today's show, we are going to break down what the run to the playoffs looks like for your Seattle Seahawks. What do they need to do to get into the postseason? How does the schedule play out? We will go through every game. I'll show you the games I believe are the most winnable, the toss-up games, and the magic number to get into the postseason coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, if you want the Seahawks to make the playoffs, like today's video. Let's not chance anything. I've been told that if you like today's video, it helps increase the odds of the Seahawks making the playoffs. So, why even risk it? 12 stand-up. Like today's video, let's do our part to get the Hawks in the postseason. We'll get started with today's show. So here is the playoff picture. If the playoffs were to begin today, what things would look like? The Eagles would have the number one overall seed. That would give them a bye with an 8-1 and one record. The Lions, then as the NFC uh, North champions, would be the two seed at 7-2. and two. San Francisco has the tiebreaker right now. That gives them the NFC West title at 6-3. and three. And then the four seed would be the New Orleans Saints with the NFC South title at 5-5. Five and five. Seattle checks in at the first wild card position with a tiebreaker over the Dallas Cowboys, both teams at 6-3. and three. And the Vikings, the last team in the postseason at 6-4. and four. What a run that team's been on uh, over the last five weeks. And then in the hunt, the infamous in the hunt phrase. Uh, one of my favorites. Tampa Bay at four and five. Washington, Atlanta, both at four and six. Seattle would be facing the New Orleans Saints in the wild card round in New Orleans if the season ended now. And we've seen in the past uh, some good memories when the Seahawks played the Saints in the postseason of the wild card round. So, with that said, the Seahawks six and three, tied for first in the NFC West. It's really two ways of looking at it, right? You're going to play San Francisco anyway, so you can view it as, hey, they're either the three or the six seed in theory at this point in time. The number that I am looking for specifically, the line of demarcation for this Seattle Seahawks team, I think you'll want to get to 11 wins. If you get to 11 wins, you're in really good shape. Doesn't necessarily guarantee a division title, because San Francisco is very good in their own right, but it does put you in great shape. 11 wins, you're at least going to be the five seed. Look, you don't want to be stumbling in to the postseason as the six or seven seed. You at least want to feel comfortable, want to feel respectable. And I personally love the idea that if you're not going to be in the playoffs, take on that NFC South champion. I don't fear at all the idea of playing Derek Carr in the Saints uh, or the Atlanta Falcons and uh, Taylor Heineke on the road, if need be, to open up the postseason. There are some must-win games for the Seahawks to begin this run to the playoffs here. I think this weekend against the Rams is one of those must-win games. No excuse, you got to find a way to get that job done. I think the Tennessee game on the road, that's a Tennessee team that is falling apart fast. And I know Will Levis is their quarterback now, and they've shown some improvement at that position compared to Tannehill, but you cannot afford to lose that football game. The Steelers game. I know the Steelers have a similar record to the Steelers, to the uh, Seahawks at this point, but I think the Seahawks are a much better team than Pittsburgh. You're at home for that game. Got to win that one. And then the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, Cardinals might not even be trying in that game. They are going to be in position potentially to try to get the number one overall pick in that game. Those four, you have to win – that puts you at 10 wins right there, and you're solidly in the playoffs at that point. What will the Seahawks' final regular season record be for 2023? Get in that comment section. Tell me what it is. How does this ultimately play out for the Seahawks? It's our pinned comment today. Let us know what you think. So of what's ahead, I told you about the must-win games. We'll get into the tough games here in just a second. The Seahawks have the toughest remaining schedule. In the NFL, the seventh toughest remaining schedule in the league, uh, which according to Tankathon, their opponents uh, that they have upcoming have about a 55% winning percentage remaining here. So it's really about to 
kick things up a notch of the level of competition the Seahawks are about to see. So you get past the must-win games. Now the toss-up games. Realistically, you're hoping you go two and two in these toss-up games uh, in theory. I think that Niners game next week uh, on Thanksgiving night, that's a toss-up game that could go either way, quite frankly. The Cowboys game the following week, That game, also a toss-up game. In fact, I would say that the edge probably belongs to Dallas of a home game there that they're going to have, and uh, both teams will be coming off of Thursday games themselves. Both of them are going to play Thanksgiving in the week following on Thursday Night Football. Then you get the Niners again, and as I've talked about for the last few weeks, it's the split, right? You would hope to get one of those two games. I think the best chance is probably the first matchup in Seattle, but if you don't win that, you got to win the game in San Francisco there. And then the Eagles game. The Eagles, number one team in the NFC right now, best record in all of football. That's going to be tough. That's going to be a battle, but at least you're at home in that game. Here's the NFC West standings as things shake out right now. San Francisco and Seattle tied for first place at 6-3. and three. The Rams and Cardinals in that 3-4 and four spot. And although the playoff chances seem slim for the Rams at this point after the way things have fallen the last few weeks, what you're looking at for Seattle this week is not only does a win put you in the driver's seat and really good position come postseason if you go up to 7-3, and but you pretty much eliminate the Rams from contention as well. You knock another team out within your own division. The Rams aren't going to be winning the NFC West, but... If they got a win, moved up to four and six, they wouldn't be out of the wild card race. You eliminate them if you get that job done. More to come here on Seahawks today, but first I'll tell you about today's sponsor. That is Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the place to go for daily fantasy made easy. Here's how it works, folks. You choose two or more players, and you get the choice of any given category, more or less. Maybe you want to do receiving yards, rushing yards, completions, attempts. Whatever it may be, Prize Picks makes it easy. You go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, use the promo code CLNS, and you will get a $100 deposit match. Play along with me this week. Here's what we're going with. I got Kenneth Walker to have more than 65 and a half rushing yards. I got Tyler Lockett to have more than 58 and a half receiving yards in that game against the LA Rams. And then we're going to look ahead to Monday night. With the Seahawks, with the uh, Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Philadelphia Eagles, I got Isaiah Pacheco, the Chiefs running back, to have less than 59 and a half rushing yards. Let's say we put $20 down on this, and all three of them hit. We're walking away with 100 bucks. So play along with us, pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS for a $100 deposit match. Link is in the comments and the description of today's video. That is pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Now, here's the thing for the Seahawks. Yes, the schedule does get tougher for the road that is ahead, the seventh toughest schedule in the NFL, as we mentioned earlier. But I believe that everything is in front of this Seattle Seahawks team, that you don't have to worry about, okay, are the Niners going to lose to this team this week or any of that? Like, I'm not to the rooting guide yet. We could get to that point later on. I hope we don't need to. But if you handle business with the Niners, you don't have to worry about who their schedule is and their opponents week in and week out. Do what you need to do first. The odds right now, this is according to our friends at BetUS, by the way, uh, the Niners are pretty decent favorites at minus 600 in the NFC West. Seattle at plus 450. The Rams at plus 5,000. Cardinals at uh, plus 50,000 there. Uh, or the numbers at this point. So there's the, uh, if you want to call it, no one believes in us mantra because the odds are stacked against the Seahawks as it seems heading into the uh, final half of the season in the division. This weekend's game against the Rams. The Rams get Matthew Stafford back. They're at home. This is a different team that we saw a couple of weeks ago when they last played back in week one. Uh The Rams' receiving core is solid with, you know, Atwell and Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup and those guys. They're going to be a problem to deal with. And, you know, sure, the Seahawks, I think, 
I know there's some frustration about not having many convincing wins and all that. This week, we know what the Rams are capable of. With their offense and with Aaron Donald on the other side, come out with a dub. Could be by one point. I don't care. It doesn't have to look pretty. You come away from this game 7-3, and three, heading into Thursday night against the San Francisco 49ers, I think you're feeling like you're in great shape. What's your confidence level right now in the Seattle Seahawks as we gear up for this second half of the season? Scale for me in the comment section. I feel pretty good about this team. And Geno had the bounce back game he needed last week as well. My confidence level is still about a 7, if I'm going to be honest with you. Scale it for me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Speaking of the Seahawks-Rams game, we are going to be live here on Seahawks today. Coming up on Sunday afternoon, our coverage begins at 12.25 p.m. Pacific time. Me and Smitty are going to be hanging out with you. You will not want to miss it. We'll be having super chat battles and games and have a few drinks on hand. You will not want to miss it. Join us coming up Sunday afternoon, Seahawks Rams, live right here on Seahawks Today. Now, look, I understand the frustration that some of you may be feeling that the Seahawks aren't winning these games convincingly. I was scouring through the comments section, and some of y'all were like, oh, you know, you barely beat a bad commies team that didn't have Montez Sweat and Chase Young anymore and all that. They all count the same, folks. It's the NFL. It, and the, the thing I would say going forward when we talk confidence level and all that, I firmly believe this team has not played their football yet. They have not peaked. They are heading in the right direction. Their best football is in front of them. So while some of you may be sitting here all in a fuss because they're not beating the commies by two touchdowns, wins a win, I know the schedule's tougher, but watch out, folks. Good days are ahead. Here's what the statistics look like for the Seahawks heading into this week. 14th-ranked scoring offense, 20th-ranked scoring defense in the NFL. They're actually allowing more points than they're scoring more points, believe it or not, with about 22.2 points a game offensively, 22.3 defensively. Um, but we've seen that the offense and defense are more than capable of getting the job done. We've seen... Both sides have some really good moments throughout the year this year. So, to recap of what's ahead for Seattle, Rams this week, San Francisco the week following, Dallas, and then San Fran again. Then you take on Philly, Tennessee, Pittsburgh, and Arizona to finish out these final eight games of the regular season. So, there you have it. We'll see how things work out for the Seahawks. The run to the playoffs is on, and we're going to be all over it right here on Seahawks Today. If you enjoyed today's video, you want to see this team make the postseason, like the video. And we'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today.